Alright, how we doing folks? It is your boy Margos kicking it off here with some uh, weekend challenges. What is this? Sunday? Sunday the 12th? May 12th? Beautiful, beautiful day. We got my man Torpedo or Launch Octopus. I always call him Torpedo Octopus because he shoots those like torpedo things when you get them or whatnot. Or missiles. I don't even know. There's some sort of homing torpedo missile or whatnot. Uh, either way, you got, the, you got the drift right here. Um, and as far as upgrades in this episode, we got the... The heart upgrade that we get by being that snake thing, and I'll show you that, and nothing else. There's no other power-ups here, um, and all that sound here right there, filling up those sub-tanks, man. Gotta keep filling up those sub-tanks. You know you're gonna need them when you go, uh, when you go into Sigma's lair, or even when you're just, you know, not having that great of a match. And, you know, I really don't, when I go through this walk, I really don't pay too much attention, you know, to getting hit and not getting hit. I'm just trying to get through the stage as quick as possible, and obviously, you know, uh, once you get to, uh, once you get to that low health, you wanna be careful, but whatever. So make sure you check out the previous episode. I'm gonna take that down below. Uh, see what we got. This big, mean and nasty Buster power up. I love this thing. The purple. Oh, it's so good. Um, I played through the stage and, and looking back on the footage when I went to go do um, I went to go do a recording. Uh, it just kind of got me thinking about water levels, man. And you know, I think it's a pretty fair statement to say that the water level in any video game is probably the worst level. Like, there's nothing that could compare to how bad a water level is. And I kind of, I didn't want to make that statement at first. I kind of sat there for, for a while and I was like, well, let me think of some water levels that I like. I really couldn't think of any. Uh, and, you know, this to me right here, I'm, I'm just sticking to Mega Man X. This is my least favorite level. Uh, it's annoying. There's like four mini bosses total, or five if you want to count that boat. Uh, it. It doesn't really slow you down as much as other water levels do, but it does slow you down. Uh, it's just not that fun. There's something about water levels that isn't fun. And every game needs it. You know, every game has a water level. Uh, just, you know, to get that variety. And obviously, you know, you want, you want your fire, you want your ice, you want your water. Like, kind of like Mega Man X does, you know. Uh, they give you everything, every theme. Uh, and water is one of those things, so it's something that we're always going to have to deal with in video games. But it's just not fun. And let's go through water levels. You know, just like in the Mario games, all those water levels, whether it be the first Mario or like the third Mario, they're just boring, man. They're, just, they're slower, the controller's a little bit more awkward. It's just not as fun. It's not necessarily bad, per se, but it's just not as fun as comparative to like being on the ground. So every time I'd go to a water level, I'd be like, ah, water level. Let's hope I get through this real quick. I don't want to be here too long. And this guy almost managed to pin me upstairs there and kill me. And then I almost land on the spikes. If you don't know, man, which you should by the time you've, you've watched this and with all the Mega Man you probably played, spikes are Mega Man's worst enemy, man. He could deal with anything, son. He could get crushed by huge, giant robot masters. But spikes? Nah, man. He can't, he can't do that. And then, you know, let's go to Donkey Kong, for example. The water levels, once again always slower always you know different uh control mechanic it just wasn't not necessarily bad but just not as good and then i think that the quintessential example of a bad water level is the the legend of zelda water temple which is you know a lot of people say it's the worst temple ever made in any zelda game i don't know i haven't played them all so i can't tell you can't go that far but it definitely is the worst one in Ocarina of Time, I think. And it's just, it bogs you down. That one's just confusing. That one's got a whole nother level. It's confusing. And it's slow. And you gotta keep switching on and off those boots. Oh, man. I think on the DS version that they released, I think you could, like, keep the boots on. They, they made it easier to, like, not have to switch the boots on and off. But good for that. But uh, in the original, man, it was just an annoying pain of a temple. Now... Could that temple have been, you know, without water and been as, just as bad? I guess. But uh, it's a water temple. It's just, it's just not as fun. I remember Majora's Mask when you play through the uh, through the temple there, when you're, when you're the Zora and whatnot. I remember that temple being okay. Uh, I have to go play it. I haven't really played it in a while, so I can't really... I'm not as familiar exactly with that dynamic of it. But I know you got that pirate ship and all that stuff going on over there, and that's all that's seeing you swimming. Yeah, okay. And even Wind Waker, you know, a large part of it takes across water. And it's a great game. I don't think anyone really would be amiss if you, like, take out the, the, uh, all the, the cover in the sea that you're doing. It's part of, it's part of the dynamic. It's definitely part of the experience in the field. But eh, it kind of can get tedious at times. Uh, so water temples and water stages, eh, 
I don't know. If you got one stage, I really like, drop down in the comments. If you got a water stage that's your favorite or, you know, a water stage you thought was pretty good, drop down in the comments. I mean, I haven't played every game alive, so I might not be familiar with it, but I played a hefty amount. And yeah, man, I think water stages are probably the worst in every game. But if you know one that isn't, let me know, and maybe I'll hit it and be like, yeah, you're right, that one. I'll definitely make sure I mention it in the next video. All right, so we got my man here, Launch Octopus. You want to use what the Armadillo gave you, that rolling shield thing. And overall, I mean, this guy's still pretty tough even with the shield, but hey. And if you manage to kill Boomer before you kill this guy, which I always leave Boomer for last, but if you manage to do it, you can cut off his arm so he won't shoot all that stuff, so it makes it a little bit easier over there. But I'd rather just have the rolling shield banging out, get the W right there. And there we go. So we're wrapping up this episode. Thanks a lot for watching the video, man. If you liked it, like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyway. Make sure you check out next week. We're rolling here through that Mega Man. Here's your password if you need it for anything in your lives. Have a great Sunday, guys.